Most people shoot videos of family gatherings and events, but they don't think about the frame rate until they go to edit and then it's most likely too late. I'm going to spend a few moments and I'm going to talk about the different frame rates and which one might be best. <music> I'm going to keep this discussion relatively informal. This topic came up recently and I wanted to just get some information out there. So, there are three primary frame rates and I'm going to stick to just the US. I know they differ slightly overseas, but the three frame rates are 24, 30, and 60. And I suspect that most people when they take video don't think anything about the frame rate. They just grab whatever they have that's near them or with them. They might use their cell phones like this right here and they might just go ahead and grab some video. I don't even know what most people do with with the video throughout uh, throughout any given year. I know what I do and what I do is I shoot video uh, from a like the start of January to the end of December and I end up at the end of the year with a lot of unedited video and clips and I pull that into an editor and I slice it all down and I clean it all up and I end up with an end of year video of everything that took place through the year and it makes it entertaining and fun to watch and I don't know how many people do that like I say I'm not sure what most people do with their videos um, leave me a comment let me know but um, so here's the challenge though if throughout the year in my case and it you know if, if you're a typical consumer maybe you just want to put together a video of a vacation or something like that but you might do some video with the cell phone and then someone else in the family might have something like this it's just a little point and shoot this is a Canon power shot right here and they might shoot some video with this now the frame rate um, that is on this little camera right here um, may very well differ than the frame rate on a cell phone. And then most consumers will use something like this, which is this is a Panasonic, uh, whatever kind of basic camcorder that's out there. And so this is a third type of video that can come into play. Now, if at the end of your vacation, end of the year, whatever it is, you go to put all these clips together, and you find out that some of the clips are on a different frame rate, that creates a problem. So, if, for example, some of the video is on 30 frames a second and other video is at 24, when you go to put those two together, um, during the editing process you might think you're okay and there may be some, uh, some alerts that might pop up depending on what kind of software you use, but when you go to export that, when you're done doing all the edits, you'll find that the non-native video that you brought into that project. Uh, for example, if your project is set for 30 frames a second but you bring 24 into it or vice versa, you're going to see that it's jerky and it doesn't look good. So I've been there, I've done it, right? So my thoughts on this situation is that 24 frames is it's, it's your typical film look. You know, it's uh, what most of the movies are, are filmed in, and there are historic reasons for that, dating back almost a century. So the cost of film was expensive, and what they wanted to find out is how low can they go? How many, how many frames per second um, could they keep so that it still looked like everything was in motion? So nonetheless, they settled on 24. And what most of us have been watching throughout our lives is film and movies that have been shot at 24 frames a second. Now technology's advanced and it's not really as, of a cons as much of a concern anymore. So, you know, nowadays I think most consumer-based uh, recorders shoot at 30 frames a second. But, you know, I, I, you, you definitely have some like this little power shot will go 24. Um, another discussion, and I will touch on it just briefly, and that's resolution. So, for example, this is uh, Nikon D7000. This will shoot at uh, 24 frames a second, but it shoots that at 
1080p. So the 1080p being the resolution. If I want to go to 30 frames a second with this, it drops to 720p. Now, if I had to make a choice between the resolution and the frame rate, um, I would do my best to keep the frame rate and change up the um, resolution. And it will impact it when you go to edit, but it won't look as, it won't look as jerky. And I think th there's some ways you can handle that. So that's just my opinion. I'm curious to know what your opinion is. Um, you know, as well, I think that I would shoot most of my family videos in 30 frames a second, but I would do presentations like this in 24. So this video right now is being shot in 24 frames a second using the Sony a6000. And I think to help illustrate the difference between the frame rate, I'm going to create three different videos. And I'm going to create, um, one will be in 24 frames, next in 30, and the other one will be in 60. Now, I can't put all those into one video because for it to be accurate, I have to export that video in the frame rate that I'm recording at. So in the, in the description below, I'm going to put a link to the three different videos. And you can click on that. It'll just be something short and kind of simple. Um, I'll try to get something sort of in motion so that you know we can kind of see what that looks like at the different frame rates. But let me know your thoughts. I, I know that my research indicates that people feel kind of strongly about 24 or 30 and sometimes 60. Um, you know, my thought behind using 60 is that you know 60 looks almost unnatural. But you know, at the same time, if you're doing something with high, you know, real high action, high speed. Um, or if you want to do some slow-mo, you might do 60. Um, that's probably when I would touch it. But uh, in gaming, gaming's a whole nother thing. So, so gaming is a much faster frame rate. If you think about characters in games, depending on the games, they're moving at a very high rate of speed. So um, sometimes when you look at a game and it looks almost unreal, it's because of that high frame rate. So let me know your thoughts. I'm just curious to know. I'd like to facilitate some discussion wrapped around this and uh, see where it goes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's called The Real World. It's relatively new, but I'll be posting videos about the real world, just things that happen day in, day out. More often than not, I'll post videos about photography or technology, which is more of my space, uh, but you never know. I also post some videos about automotive maintenance and home ownership and everything else. So until the next video, take care of yourself and be safe.